guys. Car number seven. This is the Ardema Braun Lakester, last year's points champion for the vehicle. It's now a streamliner sporting a 369 cubic inch it's engine. Happening. Sorry. Here we go. Welcome back everyone. We're just going to jump right in and get right to it. It's May 18th, 2024. Team Ardema Brown is going to work their magic again on the lake bed. Driver Cal Roth is behind the controls today. We're going to take you along for a ride and let you see what's going down. We're also going to give you an overview on some issues we had and what we needed to do to change the car to make it perform. Stay tuned. This is some pretty cool stuff. Cal, before you put that helmet on, how you feeling today? Feel great, man. All right. Perfect day for a record. I'm excited. What do we got to do? 239. 239. I'm looking at 244 is what I'm here for. All right. We'll see. Awesome, Cal. Peace We're all standing behind him. He's the king. Let's see. Let's see how Pete feels. How you feeling this morning, Pete? Well, hopeful. Optimistic, I guess. All right. Optimistic. A lot of yeah. changes to the car. Yeah. Well, so, See how it does. Fingers okay. crossed. Yeah. Oh, knock on wood, huh? Yeah. Jill. Make sure she's in the Hi, Jill. 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 Can I get my hi? Hey, Greg. All yeah. right. Good morning. Here Excited. we are. What a great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What you have to. She's. Okay. Yeah, you're yeah. Right. Exactly. Go ahead. Fire. Fire. Camper, that is a record, baby. 244. Awesome! Kevin! Same speed as the Same speed! That is so, <laughs> top speed of the meet so far. Same speed, huh, Kevin? <laughs> Awesome, Pete. Nice. No. <laughs> is that a John Noonan sighting? Well, yeah. Seven, it's 7.48 a.m. right now. I Probably by 8 a.m. Pete will be having his first beer. <laughs> well, no. We should have wine. Yeah. Wine? Are we, are we celebrating differently now? I mean, when are we just going to go to champagne? Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. Maybe that would do. Anyway, awesome. good day. I, I just wanted to congratulate you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No dramas, awesome. no damage, no tickets, so everything's yeah. good. I know. Woo, so baby! 244.9. Exact same exactly as last time. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. Awesome. Your B driver is predictable. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Right. Greg, it is. Thank awesome. you. Thank you for oh, all your help, you, buddy. Greg. Thank you. I mean, everything from <laughs> tape to sandwiches to Gatorade <laughs> to all the magic you do. Look at all the magic you take, make it down. I wasn't even going to tell. <laughs> all right, there he is. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, damn fast. Oh, it sounded like a foul. It, it, it sounded like it the plugs were fouled, and then it cleared out. I went about half throttle, and then it kind of cleared out, and then I jumped on it again. Yeah. Okay. Oh, amazing work there, Cal. Oh, no. oh, thank you. Don't forget to go to impound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go to impound now. Should I even get cranked? 
Victory lap. 244. So it was, um, I, yeah. we heard it go off the line and there was a little bit of a miss. Must have been a little, just a little flutter. bit cold. A little, a little, little bit. bit cold. Yes, you know? yes. I heard the flutter. About all the, and banging the, the rev limiter. And, and, yeah. When he got it sideways, <laughs> when he hit the rev limiter, when he hit the yeah. second rev limiter, yes. then, yeah. then, it, then it whined. Did you hear it going no, down? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. it was so I, cool. I finally yeah. felt under control so much. Yeah, yeah. But, and you were screaming. You, you felt under control. Yes, somewhat. So the pedal. You know, it didn't after all that again. going on, I'm going, okay, now I know. Did you where see I'm the going. picture of how far sideways he went? No. Uh, uh, I, got no I, did, I just saw him take off off the line. like this. Huh? Oh, yeah. I'll get uh, it. Yeah, Tokyo yeah, Drift, huh? I believe that. <laughs> Thank you, Stevie. Hey, well done, Stevie. Yeah. Oh, I'm so well proud. proud. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. I'll get out of your so way. Check, the, check this out. Cal officially signing his name in ink. Best place to be. Yep, second record of the season. Well, congratulations, Cal, for bringing home yet another record for Team Ardema Brown. Now we want to talk about some drivability issues we were having with the car prior to this race. You guys might remember after we fired up the vehicle, after we put the engine in, it wasn't performing that well. Then we took it over to the dyno at JBA, put it under a heavy load, and we were having some more issues. We want you guys to see this so you can tune in and we're going to talk about what we found and what we needed to do to correct the problem. So what we discovered was that we had a couple bad ignition coils. We were able to look at this on the data and determine that the exhaust gas temperature sensors for cylinders one and three were extremely low. We did some internal testing and were able to ohm out the coils and found that a couple of the coils were low, around 18,000 ohms, as opposed to 45,000 ohms on a known good coil. We ended up replacing the coils with some new Grantinelli coils and were able to bring it back to the dyno and it performed. As a result, the vehicle did extremely well today on the racetrack, and we were able to secure a record. After each race, Kevin scrutinizes the data. We found something pretty interesting. If you look at the orange trace, you can see the engine coolant temperature sensor jumped from 123 Fahrenheit to 182 Fahrenheit in 2.7 milliseconds. This caused the car to go lean. You can see that on the pink trace. It went from 12.5 to 14.5 air fuel ratio. You could also see that the exhaust gas temperatures rose by about 150 degrees. The culprit was the engine coolant temperature sensor. This will be replaced before the next race, so we don't have this issue again and risk leaning out the engine. So Pete, what do you got going on right now? Well, we're putting the nitrous on it. So if we can go 259, the record's 258. So you had a pretty good day on Saturday. Yeah. So how overall, what was your opinion of the run and the performance of the car? Well, it got away from Cal and he missed a shift. And yeah. I think it would have gone a little faster. But that's racing, right? Yeah. That's racing. Uh, keep the mistakes down to a minimum, I guess. Yeah. Well, I guess starting the year off with the record is a good thing. Yeah. And so... Nothing like throwing the driver under the bus. <laughs> Well, remember, you gotta have, uh, you gotta be pretty crazy to get behind the wheel of this and try and go 250 miles an hour on pizza cutter tires on a slippery well, surface. <laughs> so here's the, the new coils. We don't know if they did any better, but it didn't misfire by any, no, so it hit good. on all 12 cylinders, so. Yeah, everything's working thanks to you. Yeah, well, fingers crossed. Um, Pete doesn't know, but I get anxiety and make sure this thing runs right. <laughs> but it's all good well that's it we're going to close out with an instant replay of cal's amazing run you're putting the night
Well, that's it for this segment. We hope you really enjoyed it. Our next driver who will be up on June 9th is Scott Getz. He will have to go 259 miles an hour. The vehicle will be configured with 150 shot of nitrous. So we're fingers are crossed and we're looking forward to seeing how good Scott can do. If you haven't already, please subscribe and we hope you enjoyed this video.